awful. I can't imagine how you feel after what you just saw. The whole world came crashing down in front of me. I still can't believe what I saw. Chad. What I love with my sister. Chad. This is driving me crazy. Well, me too. Look, I don't know how much longer I can take this. Soon everyone will know about our love, I promise you. When? Give me a date so I can circle it on my calendar. No more sneaking around day. And then I'll set off fireworks. And I'll like the match. <laughs> Seriously, Whitney. This is too hard for me. I've got to keep looking over my shoulder, making sure no one's watching. I'm sorry, but I will make it up to you. When you win a tennis tournament, right? I... Might have to win more than just one. Why? I told you I need to show my father that I can be a great tennis player and still have love of my own. And in the meantime, you are going to help Simone realize that you two aren't right for each other. Come on, we went over this. This is the plan. You agreed to it, right? Yeah, hey, reluctantly. All right. I'll do my part. Then everything will be fine. We'll be able to be together and everything will be okay. And our relationship will be completely out in the open. Okay? What did I tell you? You were right all along, Kay. My sister stole my boyfriend right out from under me. What am I supposed to do now? I shouldn't have let you talk me into coming here. <laughs> you need like being here. I know, but I have a really big tournament tomorrow, and I should get some sleep. You can sleep here. <laughs> I don't think I'd get much sleep if I stayed here. Either. I don't think you would either. I have to go. Okay. Stay. It was a mistake for me to come here. I should just go. No. It was no mistake. The two of us together is the best thing that could ever happen. Mm. Ah, can't wait for my Pookie to come back. Ah, with Teresa's signature, paper that will set him free. <laughs> oh, Julian, you look happy. Does that mean Teresa signed? Oh, yes, she did. Signed, sealed, and delivered. My divorce is imminent. Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald is history. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe how everything is working out so wonderfully. I mean, Julian, he's gonna give me a divorce. Ethan's gonna ask me to marry him, and he's not letting his mother talk about it. No, I will not allow this, Ethan. I will not allow you to marry that, that tramp. Mother, my mind is made up. And if you please, stop calling her names. Teresa is going to be my wife. Over my dead body, she will. Look, you're just upset. You're not being rational. Oh, I am perfectly rational, Ethan. If you marry that girl, you will be ruining your life. No, I will be marrying the woman that I love. And there's nothing you can say or do to change that. Oh, Ethan, I love you so much. <sighs> it's almost time. No. Wait, I must be reading this wrong. Oh, my God. No, there's... There's no mistake. I'm pregnant. With Ethan's baby. What's in the book? 
Well, you'll see. Once you do, you'll understand. Wow, it must be some book that's got everybody so quiet. Let me see. Sheridan and I were supposed to have a life together. I have to be with him. No, stop it. My brother needs to accept that you and I are in love. He needs a lot of time and space to do that, okay? Then you can go to him. My poor Antonio. <laughs> Looks like the devil didn't accept your offer. <laughs> he doesn't want your soul in exchange for Luis's love. <laughs> fight you over the divorce? Huh. No. She signed away her right to making fortune. She gets no alimony, no, no settlement, nothing. <laughs> I can't believe the little gold digger gave up so easily. Well, neither can I, but Teresita must be so anxious to marry Ethan that she would have agreed to anything I demanded. <laughs> oh, <God>. Amazing. <laughs> this calls for a celebration. Ooh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, not so fast. Haven't you forgotten something? You have to pay the toll first. The toll? Oh, yes, how could I forget? One glass of the most expensive, incredibly delicious bubbly coming up. <laughs> so there is nothing I can do to stop you from committing this suicide. Mother, don't be melodramatic. I am being realistic, Ethan. If you marry Teresa, you are as good as dead. Throwing your life away on that girl. I love her. And I am going to marry her. And nothing you can do or say will change that. You are really standing up for me. Look, I need to go talk to Gwen. She wasn't feeling well earlier, and I want to see if the tests that Dr. Russell ordered are done. Did you tell Gwen about you and Teresa? Yes. Then leave her alone, Ethan. You've hurt her enough. I'm not going to hurt her, Mother. I'm going to see if she's all right. Well, of course she's not all right, Ethan. You've broken her heart. I told her that I was going to marry Teresa because I... Don't believe in keeping secrets. She deserved to hear the truth from me. You did this to a girl you have known practically your whole life. A girl who, who had every reason to think that you would be together for the rest of your lives. How could you? She's a strong woman, Mother. And I hope her hurt won't last that long. I do care about her, and I need to go see if she's feeling better. I'll talk to you later. Ethan! Ethan, wait a minute. Just, just give it a few days. Maybe you'll come to your sense. Not so fast, I mean. I am pregnant with Ethan's child. My God. What this could mean? Like you're a million miles away. What's, what's going on? Are you okay? I feel sick. How can I live like this? How can I look at my sister in the face 
And not tell her what she's done to me. See, I know you feel terrible. I just really wish you'd have listened to me earlier, Simone. Maybe all of this could have been avoided, you know? I know I should have listened to you, but... I just couldn't bring myself to believe that my own sister would do this to me. That she would throw herself at Chad like that. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Simone, well, I saw this side of Whitney a long time ago. She goes after what she wants. Now, whether it's in tennis or in love. Just didn't see it, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> Simone, it's time for you to get tough. All right, you gotta fight fire with fire. How? Like you said, I can't go to my parents and complain. They'll just blame Chad, and then they'll accuse him of taking advantage of me and Whitney, and then neither one of us will be able to see him. Yeah, that's true. So, what am I supposed to do? If I confront Chad and Whitney, Chad will just look at me like an immature, jealous teenager. So what can I do? How can I keep Whitney out of Chad's bed? Okay. <laughs> I have to go. I really have to go, Chad. Come on. Stay a little while. I need you. I love you so much. I love you, too. Let me show you how much I love you. I can't stay. See, huh? This is what we've all been trying to tell you. Always. No, I don't see. I can't see anything. I'm blind. you're doing? Why are you going in such a hurry, Ivy? To stop my son from ruining his life. Oh. Look, I don't want us to be enemies, okay? I want us to try to get along. After all, we're going to be related very soon. You're going to be my mother-in-law. Never. There's nothing that you can do to stop us, Ivy. Ethan is going to ask me to marry him. I am going to say yes. And I know that we can never, ever be friends. But can't we at least try to be civil for Ethan's sake? No, we can't. Now get out of my way so I can stop my son from ruining his life. All right, Ivy. I tried to be nice, but you don't want to play. <laughs> oh. Oops. I did it again. Mm, you're out of gas. You're not going anywhere, you little bitch! If you think you can stop me, you little... Oh, you... Uh, sorry, but you, you're gonna have to stay right here until Ethan makes sure Gwen understands that nothing will change his mind about marrying me. And once we hear Gwen's outraged shrieking, I'll reconnect your battery. You are dangerous. You, you're a, a threat to society. Nope, I'm just a woman who knows what she wants and gets it. You know, you're a menace, and as soon as I'm out of here, I'm gonna tell oh everybody what kind of a menace you are. Oh, my God, tell everyone, okay? Pop wheelies for all I care, but Ethan is going to marry me. 
I'm sure Gwen's going to need your shoulder to cry on. I can't believe that my son loves you. It's like you mm. put some kind of a spell on him, made him lose all of his common sense. He, he's gone insane. Yes, wildly insane, with love and desire for me. And Ivy, Ethan can't wait to make love to me every single night, and he will, starting tonight. So you better get used to it, or I might have to throw Mama from the train. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. My mind was just somewhere else. So, are you, are you feeling better? Mm-hmm. A bit. Good. I'm glad. Did, did, did you find out what was wrong before? Yeah, my stomach was just really bothering me. I can see why your stomach would be bothering you. I mean, you decided on a whim to turn your life upside down and moving to New York all of a sudden? Ethan, it wasn't a whim. But everything has changed now. I never knew life could throw you such a curveball. In one minute, you know exactly what you're doing. You're completely in charge of your destiny. And the next minute, everything has changed. Gwen, I am. Um, I know the talk we had earlier no, upset this, you, but... No, this is not about Teresa. This has... Absolutely nothing to do with Teresa. You sound very somber, almost ominous. What is going on? Something very sobering. Well, I wish that you would rethink your plan about moving to New York. And I wish you wouldn't leave Harmony in such a hurry. You do? Of course I do. Gwen... I care about you very, very much. I, I don't want to see you do anything rash. Something that you might not be able to undo later when you've calmed down and you're thinking more clearly. Well, it might be too late for that. Oh, God. Talk about pocket change. Oh. Oh, God. oh, how I have missed my Becky Wecky. Oh, and your mm. Becky Wecky is Mr. Pookie, too. You know, we never have to miss each other again. You can be here every night and every <laughs> afternoon and every morning as well. Anytime I want you. Oh. <laughs> you know, I am so relieved that Teresa didn't fight you on that divorce. Relieved is an understatement. I mean, now I'm free to... Party hardy. I'm free, free, free. <laughs> oh, not for long, oh. Cookie. Because once your divorce is final, oh. we're getting oh. married. How about a Christmas wedding? Uh, it, a wedding? Well, yeah. I mean, well, we could make it sooner. How about Thanksgiving? Well. Well, what? I, 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 I think this is something we should discuss. Julian, yeah. I know that look. No, you are not going to weasel out of this. What do you mean you're blind? I mean, I can't, I can't see anything, anything at all. God. It's, it's, it's just like last time. Every, everything just went black. It's like somebody turned out all the lights. Please, God, don't let this be happening. Please, may I? Okay, I'm not in here. Shine a light in your eyes. You try and follow it, okay? I don't see a light. Well, Mother, looks like the devil did grant my wish. Antonio still doesn't know that Luis and Sheridan are in love. So I still might have a chance with Luis. Okay. Now I really, really have to go. <laughs> if I'm going to win that match tomorrow, i got to get some sleep, okay? Oh, you'll win. Not if I don't get some sleep, I won't. If I'm going to show my dad that I can be in love and be a tennis pro, i got to win. Look, I know you don't want to disappoint your pops. i got something for you. What? 
for me. Yeah. Good luck, John. Maybe this will help you win tomorrow. Somebody, you make things happen. This is so amazing. But I feel too guilty if I took it. No. And if you don't take it, you're really going to hurt my feelings. Well, I definitely don't want to hurt Come on, calm down. There's something you can do. There is one surefire way to get Chad away from your sister. How? Kidnap him and keep him chained in the basement? I'm serious. You can get him into your bed. You said that before, but I still don't know if that's the way. Of course it is, Simone. I mean, the only way to make sure that a guy keeps coming back for more and more is to give him what he wants. Totally hot sex. Advice? Because if I remember correctly, you and Miguel had totally hot sex once, and he wants nothing to do with you now. We're not talking about me. So. Yes, we are, Kay. Because you keep trying to get me to do what you did, and it didn't even work. Miguel still wants to be with Charity. Miguel. And he didn't even make love to her. He's a little confused right now, okay? But he'll come around, Simone. Yeah, well... I can't count on that happening with Chad. I mean... I would love... to have sex with Chad someday. But I want my first time to be special. I... I want it to be something that we both cherish forever. I don't want it to be a one-night stand that he's not even going to remember the next day. Fine. So what are you going to do? You can't play fair and square with Whitney, Simone. You've tried that. It hasn't worked. And you know what? She hasn't been honest with you. So I don't get why you feel obligated to be honest with her. I don't. I just don't think that sex is the right way. All right, I think that there's another way of doing it. There is. There's something else you can do. What? What do we overhear them saying, Simone, that all Whitney had to do was win a few tennis tournaments, right? That way she could go back to Dad and tell him she's good at tennis and good at being in love. Yeah, so Whitney never loses. She always aces her opponent. Where are you going with this? What would happen to Whitney's game if she weren't in top form? What do you mean by top form? What I mean is, you have to ruin her game tomorrow, Simone. That'll definitely throw a wrench into her plans to get Chad. Antonio, I am shining this light directly in your eyes. You still can't see anything? I can't see a damn thing. I'm right here, son. I'll be here as long as you need me. Thanks, Mom. This is breaking my heart. Liz, I'm so sorry. Everyone is so concerned about Sheridan and how she's dealing with this, but I can see that it's hard for you, too. You truly loved Antonio, didn't you? Yeah, I did. And if it weren't for my horrible sister, we would be together. 
would have had all these years to be happy, and none of this would have happened. I can't believe this is happening. I tell you, everybody's blind. This is horrible. Hey, maybe it's not that bad. I mean, it could be temporary. Remember, outside your cottage, she was totally blind, but it didn't last long, okay? I'm sure that he's gonna get his sight back again, okay? Just wonder what caused it. Boys, what if he saw the photos of us? What if that's what caused his blindness? No. I don't think he had time to see the album. But that must be it. He must have seen the photos of us together holding each other about to be married. It was too much for him. The shock caused him to go blind. Come, come now, Becky. Don't you want seconds? I have so much more love to give. I don't think so. Now, you promised to marry me once you divorced Teresa, and you're about to be divorced, so pay up. When are you going to make an honest woman out of me? Oh, but, uh, Pumpkin, you know I will in time, but you know the hell I've been through this past year with three wives, for heaven's sake. I mean, don't you see the wisdom in allowing just a, a little more time before I... Jump yet again headlong into the matrimonial pit? Pit? I, I, no, I didn't mean pit. I you, know, you know what I see, Julian? I see a very foolish man. Because if you don't marry me, I just might be forced to have to testify against you in a court of law. Testify about what? About how you tried to kill your sister, and not just once. In fact, I believe attempted murder is a felony, so, well, you just might have to serve hard time, and then... Ooh, with a cellmate named Rocco. Rocco? Oh, yes, and you are such a pretty thing. Oh, my, there's no telling what might happen. Well, that is if you live that long. Because once Luis and Antonio find out what you did to Sheridan, well, they just might decide to save the state some money and kill you themselves. Luis and Antonio? Mm, they've always suspected that you had something to do with what happened to Sheridan, but they never had proof. Proof that I can give them. Well, if I had to. Do we really have to discuss this right now? Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> In fact, I was just remembering a beating you got from Antonio. Oh, and then one you got from Luis. Of course, it's nothing less than a yellow-bellied snake like you deserves. Shut up, just shut up! I won't listen to any more of this. Look. I tried to be nice, okay? But you would not listen. But you're gonna have to listen now because I am not going anywhere except down the aisle with Ethan once my divorce from Julian is final. No, never. I will never allow my son to be saddled with Julian's bastard to raise. Excuse me? My son is not a bastard, Ivy. He is a crane. In fact, he's one of the few legal cranes in this house. So wise up, lady. I am here to stay. Gwen, what, what do you mean it might be too late? Too late for what? Too late to go back. <laughs> to undo what's been done. I couldn't now, even if I wanted to. What are you talking about? Are you sure you're okay? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'm really worried here. Did Dr. Russell give you those tests? Yes, I had the tests. <laughs> and wh well, what did they say? I mean, is there anything seriously wrong with you? Yes. Probably the most serious thing that can ever happen to a woman. My God, Gwen, what, what is it? Kissing and at our wedding. You're right. You're right. 
right. He, he would have said something if he'd seen all that. Yeah, he would have. Remember, he is in love with you. I just pray to God that he didn't see those photos of us. I wouldn't forgive myself if I caused him to go blind. We can't tell him about us now, Louise. We just can't. It could kill him. I really need to play well tomorrow. Too much is riding on this match. And you'll do great. I know you will. Because you're destined for greatness. And just think, tomorrow this time, when you win and show your pops that you're already a star, mm -hmm. then you can go public. I can tell the whole world how much I love you. Hold it, Kay. What are you suggesting? I'm not suggesting. I'm telling you. You need to throw off Whitney's game tomorrow. Listen to loud music all night so she can't go to sleep. Or bring her a midnight snack with something in it so she gets sick. What was it that Tanya Harding did to Nancy Kerrigan? She had someone hit her in the knee with a lead pipe. I can't, I can't do something like that. Simone, why not? Do you love Chad or not? Because if Whitney loses tomorrow, she can't go running back to Daddy and tell him she's good at playing tennis and being in love. But I'm Whitney's biggest fan. And it, and it means the world to my father to see her be successful. It, it, would, it would kill him if she did it. He'd be disappointed in Whitney, not you. But Whitney and my dad have worked so hard to get this far. And for me to deliberately do something to, to, to rob them of their dreams? Just so that my parents can tell her that she can't see Chad? That, that is cruel. And you don't think what Whitney's done to you isn't cruel, Simone? I mean, do you love Chad and want to be with him or not? Because if you do, I don't really think you have a choice. Whitney cannot win the tournament tomorrow. I love Chad with all of my heart, but all right, I'll do it. I will find a way to make Whitney lose that tournament tomorrow. Pookie, you have no idea how I would cry and cry if that were to happen to you. Oh, it would just be terrible if I had to testify against you in court. It would be worse than terrible. We certainly can't have that, can we? Oh, I certainly hope not. Oh, I just love you too much to have to send you to jail or to have to turn you over to Luis and Antonio. So, Pookie... When are we getting married? You better get used to it, Ivy. Because I am going to become Mrs. Ethan Winthrop. And we are going to give little Ethan lots of baby brothers and sisters. So, what should we call you, huh? Grandma or Nana? Gwen, what is it? What is wrong with you? I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? Pregnant, yes, as in having a baby. Is it, is it mine? Ethan, of course it's yours. Who else is? They won't tell Antonio. They won't. 
which means Louise will still be available for me. Oh, I wouldn't count my chickens, Missy. His arms are around her, not you. Maybe so. Leave Louise for me. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure of that, Miss Smiley Face. I think that Louise will tell his brother, even if he is blind. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. We have to tell him about it. Sheridan, we decided we weren't going to continue lying to him. How can we tell him? And look at him. Look at how helpless he is. Eve. How is he? What's going on? Yeah, Doc, how am I doing? I'll tell you when I'm finished with my exam. How is he? It's not very good. He's very, very ill. <laughs> Eve, how long does he have? It's not very long, Boy. He could even go tonight. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God, my son. 